Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got another one from Joe Rogan. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What we got? This is a clip from his episode with uh, Terrence Howard on his podcast. Hmm. Okay. 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 Yeah, man. I heard about Terrence Howard sitting down with Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Apparently, Terrence Howard is a genius. Uh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. A He's genius. a Illuminatus, uh, astrologist. Uh, uh, a lot of those ish, whatever the ish at the end. He definitely, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. A lot of those issues is what he is. But he definitely said a lot of interesting things. You know what I mean? Yeah, Definitely. yeah, you know, he's, we we all know him from. I think his most famous role is like Hustle and Flow, maybe. Right, right, yeah, Hustle and Flow. Yeah. Or, or Power. Yeah, you know, yeah, Power, of course. Okay, okay. You know, I guess he's getting, and in other movies. Yeah, I guess he stopped acting to pursue. Yeah, pursue yeah, pursue the, the yeah, yeah, the the unknown or the yeah. known. Yeah. Or. Yeah, well, this about clip, to know. This clip, he's saying, he says that black holes do not exist. Okay. Black holes do not exist. Okay. That's what he's saying. So, right. you know. I, you know. Well, yeah. Let's hear about this information, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I, yeah definitely. Anything about a black hole is interesting. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah, let's hear some truth about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. But what do you think a black hole is? It doesn't exist. There, there aren't black holes. There's no spot where the unit where energy goes in and never comes back out. There's no place in the universe where, where, where um, the the information paradox occurs, where there isn't a balance. Something gets contracted and never comes out. That's not how the universe behaves. It comes in and it goes out. When Newton said that the, that gravity pulls down, if he had, with that apple, yes, the apple was attracted to like conditions on the earth. It was attracted to like conditions. If he had spent another week or two weeks watching that apple, he would have watched the gases go right back up to where they were equalized. Everything if it comes this way, it has to go this way. You breathe in, you breathe out. It's filling in or, or pouring out. So what do you think they're detecting when they're detecting black holes? With that shift that they're talking about, mm -hmm. that's, that's the tornado. Remember, there's a vortice. There's all these huge vortices. Everything is spinning around a vortice. So a collection of larger vortices is going to have the same thing that's happening at the center of the galaxy is happening at, in the center of a hurricane. It's happening in your toilet stool. And which it, is why the galaxy is a circular it, disk in the first place. Everything, ev all motion is expressed in waves. All waves are, expect are expressed in curves. It always makes spirals. So because of the concept of gravity, and because of the concept of this event horizon, this super point of gravity, this infinite point that light can't even escape, that this exists because of the of theory their math of gravity. And their math. Remember, yeah. they have a thing called zero. They, they, they go from one to zero to right. negative one. There is no zero to even think zero. So do you think that zero is a concept that came along with currency? It should be attached to currency in that regard because in physics, there is, it's either nothing remains still. There's nothing still in the universe. There's nothing that doesn't have motion because everything is connected. So if one thing is still, Everything that's connected to it has to be still. There can never be one thing still. So as electricity tries to get to its, its balanced state, right when it gets there, magnetism takes over and it pushes over. So there's this pendulum. And as soon as it gets to this state, it bounces off that other noble gas and it makes its way all the way back over here and it's about to have equanimity. And then it gets pulled back into the other direction. And that's the breathing in and breathing out and the pendulum effect that we've all observed in natural phenomena in the universe. And that's a part of everything. Everything behaves that way. Every one of our cells every, comes down to our, our cells are made up of water, mostly water, 80%, 90% water somewhere. Water is hydrogen. Hydrogen has 12 vortices that's behaving with it, 12 opposing vortices. So what, in your model, what happens to these suns when they supernova? Everything gets old and dies. 
everything gets old and die. And does everything recompress? It has to. And you breathe out, what happens to that air? Another plant breathes that air in. So would this be the universe itself? Would it be galaxies? Would it be... Everything, everything. behaves the same way. So as the sun expands and projects and ejects particles, they expand, they f go further and further from the sun, and at a certain point, they come back. Well, at a certain point, what do they hit? There's other expanding stars and... and, and, and um, <sighs> So like waves colliding. Yes. And from the other from the other from the other star systems. They have an expanding what is the the thing the solar wind. They have expanding solar winds. Mm -hmm. So when they meet our our plat our star meets a, the solar wind from another star at that end of that spot. Now there's two pressure conditions so you have another Lagrange spot that's happening there. That's when those waves start coming back but they get hit and they and if they hit at 120 degrees, because that's how the universe is arranged, now these things become electric. So they, instead of coming from the planar side and expanding out at the equator, they now come back up from the northern and southern parts. So does this account for stellar nurseries? Yes. All of these things are just pressure conditions hitting each other. And they're causing that. That's where the Birkeland currents are running through, those higher electrical fields. But everything in the universe is just electricity. And we call it magnetism when it's devitalized, but it's still electricity. We call the, the, the radiative side, it's the feminine side. And the, the contractive side is the positive, the masculine side. There, it's a balance, and it's never, been, it's never been anything but that balance, and we've complicated it with a lie. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Now, I mean, I'm not gonna act like I'm a genius, you know. Uh, no. And, I'm a and, you know, <laughs> and, you know, and I, 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 and I try to follow along as best as I can, you know. Yeah. And I mean, it sounds like it, like it has maybe something to it, you know. I, I, you well, know, I mean, what he's saying make it makes sense. He's saying that you know, for black black hole, he's saying like energy. You can't. Energy doesn't just disappear. It has to be transferred somewhere. So you know, energy is yeah, not yeah. Like going going to a black hole and disappear. Or at least that's what I like. You said I'm not. I'm not as smart as. I'm just going by what I think I just heard. <laughs> right, right. It makes sense. Right. That every action sense. has a reaction. And, yeah. And um, it's a balance. Yeah. Exactly. That make that makes a lot of sense. When you said there's there's no the number zero doesn't exist. Right, right. Well, that makes there sense. There has to be something. Yeah. You know, and everything's in motion. And that the black hole is like a cyclone, you know what I mean? And I guess we're all revolving around it. Hurricane. Or yeah. cyclone, yeah, or same right. thing. But things right. are hurricane. Right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, man, like, I mean, the, the, this interview, I, I think, was long. Um, you know, Terrence Howard sat yeah. down and, he's, he's, and Joe Rogan's at least, at least over two hours. Right. I'm guessing. Man. I think he had it. It seemed like he had a lot to say. <laughs> Usually, when Rogan's guests have a lot to say, that's like a two and a half hour, three hour episode. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guarantee there's more clips of this. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah man. Well, it seems like it was a dope, um, dope interview. And Terrence Howard, I mean, it seems like there's a lot more to him than just movies. You know what I'm saying? And acting. You know what I mean? And I think he stopped acting to pursue, you know, this, right. you know, I don't know what he's trying to do. What is he, right, you know? Right. I've, I've heard he's released a lot of patents, you know? And um, he's, he's, he's done a lot of things, you know, that, that maybe we're not aware of. Maybe we should pay more attention to it, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess, you know, yeah. we are now. <laughs>